Hi friends, welcome to my channel and today I'm going to start System Center Configuration Manager 2016 training videos step by step. So in this uh, tutorial I'm going to show you all the tasks which you can perform by System Center Configuration Manager and all this uh, from begin I, I will start from installation of System Center Configuration Manager on bare metal server uh, from from uh, from the scratch and and I, I will explain you everything like deploying the uh, SSCM client through the uh, SSCM console, uh, operating system deployment, configuring the WSOs um, uh, for uh, Windows update by using SSCM. Also, I, I'm going to show you how to manage endpoint protection by using System Center Configuration Manager. So stay with me uh, and watch all the videos in this uh, tutorial so you will get the idea about the system center configuration manager 2016 so here is my environment so my lab and my demo environment so i'm using hp compact elite uh, 8300 ctm machine with i core 7 which is uh, basically second generation i7 processor and with a uh, 32 GB installed RAM and my operating system is Windows Server 2012 uh, to data center. You can verify these settings from here. So if you go on server manager, this is my physical machine basically and you can verify the server name, server 01 and I have not joined this machine in any domain so the machine in work group and I have uh, my LAN connectivity which is providing me IP address and uh, gateway connectivity to outside of the network and second is my loopback adapter which I am using on uh, my infrastructure in you can say on a VMware position I will show you the settings rest after this few minutes so here it is I have total like you can go here you can see the operating system version Microsoft Windows Server 2012 R2 data center and the uh, hardware information have a packer HP compact Elite 8300 CTM machine and my RAM you can verify this processor here so uh, i7 uh, 3.40 gigahertz and install memory is 32 GB RAM and I have basically uh, around 2 TB RAM uh, 2 TB drive on this server so good to go and if you go here you can see uh, I have hardware which is this HP compact Elite uh, E300 CTM machine and I have operating system on this hardware which is Windows Server 2012 data center and as my hyperver hypervisor as I'm going to give you the all the demo in virtual infrastructure means on a virtual machines so my hypervisor which I am using in this demo in this all the uh, video tutorial is VMware Workstation 11 if you go here on desktop I have VMware Workstation installed on this machine so here it is if you go here on like health about VMware version you can verify the version and the information like uh, version and VM location everything so my purpose is giving you the idea about the hypervisor which I am going to use in all the video training and uh, this and you can verify the host memory is around 32 GB so close it and the next thing I want to show you the networking setting in my uh, VMware workstation so click on edit button and virtual network editor and here you can see we have a, a three NIC here total one assigned to bridge one assigned to host only and one assigned to NAT so bridge means uh, I'm I'm going to use my bridge uh, a network to uh, communicate uh, to make the communication happen within within all the virtual machines like domain control my SSCM server my client machine every machine is work uh, talking to each other on a bridge network so if you go here I just want to show you one uh, machine setting here if you go here you can see the on a network adapter I have selected the bridge so means and I here you can see bridge is assigned to Microsoft loopback adapter so it means my loopback adapter is which is virtual adapter is uh, 
uh, making the con uh, communication on all the virtual machines and others like you can see the NAT NAT is assigned basically for internet if you go here on my SSCM server you can see I have second network adapter here which is NAT uh, so basically first one is bridge which is uh, uh, making the local connection with my all the virtual machine and second is NAT which is uh, giving providing the internet connection to my SSCM server so here, here, this is my environment which I am going to use and um, thank you for watching please subscribe me for more video and if you have any query any question related to this please post me on my given mail IDs and um, stay tuned with me so uh, soon I am updated uploading the next videos thank you once again bye bye